If you want to land your dream job, build a business or connect with leaders in your field, then LinkedIn is the place to do that. But if you want people to take you seriously, then there's a couple of key points you probably want to get down first. With 800 million users and 50 plus million companies across 200 countries, LinkedIn is the place to either grow your business or land your dream job. But if you want that to happen, there's a couple of key points you need to get down first. So number one, a photo. You're probably thinking this is pretty obvious, but you'd be surprised the number of people that get this wrong. Now, I'm not saying you've got to be dressed up in some kind of corporate suit, but at the very least, you don't want the photo to be unprofessional. You would be surprised how many people are on there without profile photos, but are still active. Without a profile photo, people are probably just gonna think you're some kind of mindless bot. Also, stay away from photos which are weird caricatures or maybe photos of celebrities that you think you like, but it doesn't really make any sense. But at the very least, make sure it's not an unprofessional photo of you four margaritas deep on your last holiday. Because that doesn't necessarily portray you in the best light, especially on a business platform. If you do have a photo that you like, you can probably just get around this by removing the background on that photo by using a software such as Canva, which I really like. Next up on my list, it would be getting a good headline. So. Some people have too much creative license in this and they put crazy things like saying they're chess champion of 1992 and they went to the University of Life. That's just insane. While some people might like humor, that's not gonna work with everyone, unfortunately. But your headline should be more or less to the point of something that you do. For example, if you're like myself and run a recruitment business, you could put something like connecting the best software developers with the best jobs in FinTech. Something as simple as that. But if you do have some kind of qualification, let's say you're an accountant and you have a ACA or ACCA, or maybe you are a MBA student, so you could put MBA. But you do see a lot of people that put X Microsoft or X Twitter, or maybe they'll put some other kind of big company. Now, for me personally, I think it's a bit strange that people like to put all the places that they worked in their header as like X so and so. Some people do like it and they go, hmm, this person must be pretty good. But for me, I think you probably want to move forward and you want to think about the future rather than dwelling on the past. Next would be your experience and career history. Now here it's important to be searchable, have a good overview on what you do, what you've done in the past, as well as including keywords so you can make sure you're optimized so you can be found. Because you never know who's trying to find someone like you with your skill set. Now that could be a recruiter trying to find a candidate for one of their clients, or that could be a business trying to find a new supplier. But here it's important not to put your whole life story because you don't bore people to death. Now, you want to try and be clear and concise, so try and keep a couple of bullet points or maybe just a short paragraph for each thing. So for example, let's say you are a marketing whiz and you have experience of software like HubSpot or MailChimp. You're going to want to put that in and you want to try and say the stuff that you've done with those softwares. So let's say you manage mass email campaigns with companies within the fashion sector, or perhaps you have generated two million pounds and sales by a campaign or sort. That's the sort of stuff that you want to put in there to make sure that you stand out. LinkedIn has a profile strength meter from beginner to all-star. Obviously you want to try and get to all-star because that's going to help you with your ranking and it's going to make your profile look more fuller. Lastly, connections and recommendations. Now you don't necessarily need loads of connections on LinkedIn, but it helps. If you have people that are connected with you, they're probably gonna think you're more active. If you only have like five connections, in my personal experience, it's made me think that this person could be either a fake profile or they're not active. So there's probably no point even trying to get in touch with this person. But if you do have the 500 plus connections, which it gives you a preview on the, on the profile, then people are probably gonna think you're active on there. Plus it's gonna help people clicking and liking your stuff and getting you better organic reach. And from there, you never know who's gonna see your stuff. Now recommendations, again, this is probably quite obvious, but this is your testimonial, and this is kind of like your online reference to a degree. So if you've got, uh, let's say, an ex-boss or an ex-colleague you've done some work with, and they can give you a testimonial, then it's gonna make you look more attractive to people looking at your profile. So let me summarize by going through those points again. So first, you wanna have a good profile photo to make sure that you look like a real person and you're somewhat professional. Next, you wanna have a headline that is going to get the attention of the people that are looking at your profile and hopefully it'll make you stand out in a good way. Next, experience. Say what you do, how well you do it, and the tools that you use. The more you can quantify, the better. Connections and recommendations, again, this is to make sure that your profile stands out and so when people reach out to you, they can probably expect some kind of reply. Now, I hope this video has been helpful, but if there's anything that you think I've missed, then comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, then hit the subscribe button. I'll see you soon.